Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in the previous video, we have seen that how to design the voltage to current converter using the op-amp. So now in this video, let us understand how to design the current to voltage converter using the op-amp. Now this type of current to voltage converter circuits are useful in many applications. For example, let us say you have one sensor or the circuit component which gives the output in terms of the current. For example, let us say you have a photodiode which gives the output in terms of the current. And let us say you want to log the data of this photodiode for the entire day. And let us assume that for that you are using the data acquisition system. Now most of the time this type of system used to accept the data in terms of the voltage. So you need to convert this current into the voltage. And for this, this I2V or the current to voltage converters are useful. Now this current to voltage converter is also an example of a current controlled voltage source because if you observe over here the input to the circuit is in terms of the current while the output of the circuit is in terms of the voltage. So just by controlling the input current we can control the output voltage. So now let us understand how we can design this current to voltage converter. Now before we see the open based current to voltage converter First of all, let us see how we can design this converter using the passive circuit components and what are the limitations of this passive converter. So just by connecting the resistor across this current source, we can convert this current into the voltage and the voltage that is developed across this resistor can be given by this simple expression. So now suppose if we connect the load across this resistor R, then ideally the same voltage should also appear across the load. But whenever we connect the load to this resistor R, then some current will also flow through this resistor RL. And because of that, the voltage which appears across this resistor RL can be given by this expression. That is the input current multiplied by the parallel combination of this R and RL. So as you can see over here, in case of this current to voltage converter, the voltage which appears across the load will also depend upon this load resistance. Now ideally in this current to voltage converter, the converted voltage should be independent of this load resistance. So unless the value of this load is much greater than this resistor R, the actual voltage which appears across this load will be less than the voltage which is getting converted by this converter. So this problem can be avoided by using this active converter. So here this input current is connected at the inverted terminal of this op-amp. And the feedback resistor R is connected between the output terminal and the inverting input terminal. And here the non-inverting terminal is at a ground potential. So because of the virtual ground concept, this node will be also at a zero voltage. Now here we are assuming that the op-amp is an ideal op-amp. So no current is flowing into the op-amp terminals. So if we apply the KCL at this node A, then we can say that this input current I in should be equal to the current which is flowing through this resistor R and that will be equal to 0 minus V out divided by this resistor R. So we can say that the output voltage V out will be equal to minus this input current times the value of this resistor R. So as you can see over here, this output voltage V out is proportional to the input current. So in this way we can convert this input current into the output voltage. Now in this circuit, even if you connect the load at the output terminal, then also the output voltage will remain as it is. So basically it is independent of the load resistance. Now this type of current to voltage converter is also known as the trans impedance amplifier because here the current is applied as an input and the output of this amplifier is in terms of the voltage. So here, the ratio of this output voltage divided by this input current has a unit of impedance and that is why this type of amplifier is known as the trans impedance amplifier. So now let us see some of the applications of this current to voltage converter. So this type of converter is particularly useful in the photodiode circuits. So as you can see over here, the photodiode is connected at the inverting input terminal of this op-amp and the non-inverting terminal is at a ground potential. So by applying the concept of virtual ground, we can say that this inverting terminal is also at a ground potential. Now depending upon the light which is falling on this photodiode, the photocurrent will flow through this photodiode. 
and if we apply the KCL at this node, then we can say that this photo current IPS will be equal to the current IR which is flowing through this resistor R and that will be equal to V out divided by this resistor R. So from this we can say that the output voltage V out will be equal to this photo current IPS times this resistor R. So in this way we can convert this photo current into the output voltage. So similarly this current to voltage converter can also be used along with this photo resistor. So in case of this photo resistor, the value of the resistance will change according to the light that is falling on it. So apart from these applications, this current to voltage converter is also used in digital to analog converters. So here we have a 4 bit of digital to analog converter and to this converter, the 4 bits of digital data has been applied. So according to the applied digital bits, we will get the analog output voltage at the output terminal. Now in this converter circuit, the logical 1 is treated as a 5 volt and the logical 0 is treated as a 0 volt. And here this D3 is the most significant bit of the applied input and the D0 is the least significant bit of the applied input. So let us say these 4 bits are applied to this DSC. So here this D0 is the logical 1. So here it is connected to the 5 volt. And accordingly some current R will flow through this resistor R. And that current I will be equal to 5 volt divided by this 10 kilo ohm resistor that is equal to 0.5 milliampere current. So because of this D0 bit, 0.5 milliampere of current will flow through this resistor R. Now similarly if we consider this D1 bit, it is a logical 0. So it is connected to the ground. So no current will flow through this 5 kilo ohm resistor or we can say that the current I2 will be equal to 0 milliampere. Similarly, if we consider this uh, D2 bit, then it is also connected to the ground potential. So current I3 will be also equal to 0 milliampere. And now if we consider this most significant bit that is D3, it represents the logical 1. So it is connected to the 5 volt. And because of that, the current I4 will be equal to 5 volt divided by the 1.25 kilo ohm. So that will be equal to 4 milliampere. So now the summation of these individual 4 currents will flow through this resistor RF because here we are assuming that the op-amp is an ideal op-amp. So no current is flowing into the op-amp terminals. So whenever we apply the 1001 as an input, then the total current IT will be equal to 0.5 milliampere plus 4 milliampere that is equal to 4.5 milliampere. Now this current will flow through this resistor RF and because of that we will get the output voltage V out as minus IT times this feedback resistor RF. So output voltage V out will be equal to minus 4.5 milliampere times this 1 kilo ohm resistor and that is equal to minus 4.5 volt. So this will be the output voltage whenever we apply this 1001 as the input sequence. So in this way, by using this current to voltage converter circuit, we can convert the digital data into the analog output voltage. And depending upon the applied input sequence, the output of this digital to analog converter will change. So these are the some of the applications of this current to voltage converter. So I hope in this video you understood how we can design this current to voltage converter using the op-amp and what are the different applications of this current to voltage converter? So if you have any question or suggestion, do let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.